I think we have Ty Kennelly on the line. Tyge? Sorry, boy, how you doing? How's it going, Harris? How you keep it? No, not too bad, man. Not too bad. Good to hear from you. Yeah, good to hear from you. How was, how was your season this year with the Swans? How did you, you fare out? Um, not great. Um, it's a bit of a transition for us at the minute. And uh, maybe it's the fact that uh, I, took, we, I took up an assistant coach role with the club so, and they went backwards. So maybe that's... You lost a lot of legends. We did, we did. We lost about uh, 1,200 games of experience. But uh, a, a, good, a good year being a bad year if you can but um, we blooded a lot of young fellas and um, we're just priming ourselves now to, to get back at us we, um, we finished with 8 wins which is disappointing out of 22 like sorry but um, yeah it's first time we missed the finals in 10 years second time in 20 years so uh, the only other time they did it was in 9 which was a good year for myself <laughs> <laughs> uh, come here to me and keep him with the, the Aussie rules Kerry's Mark O'Connor who could possibly be out there hopping off a of Fenton in these lads on tomorrow night, mm. but he's he's got a big game in in an hour, two hours or so against the West Coast Eagles. He's been one of the most improved players, Tiggy, uh, down there. It's 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 mm. great to see he's rise so quickly. I think it's unbelievable what he's done. All right, Tiggy, that's all right. Bye. That's a great answer. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> just shoot off there. <clears throat> Mark O'Connor just talking about him, Kev. Young Kerry led to win to Australia. There was a lot of grief came Tyg's way um, when he made that call because he was he was our guy. He was our he was our next guy that yeah. was coming to to, to join yeah. David Morn. Um, and you know, people said, "Oh, you should have left the Kerry fellas alone." Almost uh, like you yeah. know, go get the other fellas. But like. When you, you look at this guy down here now, he's... Ago, wasn't it? Well, I Clifford, mean, Clifford never, you know, Clifford never wanted to... There was a lot of talk, though. I mean, yeah, there was a lot of talk yeah. because he was, he was such a, uh, you know, obviously the Aussies be going, hey, who's this guy? He's yeah. six foot four, he's killing all around him over there, so we got to look at it. But, you know, the opportunity this guy has for yeah. his professional career for the next... He's 22, same age yeah. as Tom Sullivan. They've been best friends since he was in the cot, if you read his article in The Independent yeah. this week. It's a huge opportunity for him to to go make a serious life for himself, like Ty did on under. I, I, I think Ty got a bit of flack over it. I went to a couple of those trials a while ago. The trials are the platform for you to perform. Like it, you, you get it if you want it. Mm -hmm. It's not them coming and poaching, Yeah, really. Um, it's only giving you a platform to go play professional sports, and it's probably the only one thing that we can do in the GA is make that step make to, go, that play, step, to yeah. go play and you AFL. see all the, all, all the ladies that are doing it now yeah. and they're dead right yeah. to go go experience that Tiggy you're back I am sorry about him <laughs> bad, bad old reception down in Sydney is there are you in the stall I, I'm in Queen, I'm in, I'm in Queenstown actually I'm only, I'm, only, I'm only a few hours away from you I'm in, I'm in the stall actually. <laughs> I'm not I'm not, I, I'm not. Uh, where did you watch the first game Tiggy and, and what did you make of it I did. Um, I generally like to watch the final at home and say the true star. Um, <laughs> I like watching it and just spending a bit of time, you know, um, I suppose, understanding what's happened with the game and whatnot. But uh, oh, oh, lots of positives for the Kerry boys. Uh, I'd, I'd say more positive for Kerry than, than not. You know, you got a, you got a young fellow in David Clifford that expectation on his shoulders at 20 years of age. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he kicked two points and he's sitting up freeze. And um, Johnny Cooper was that worried about him, but he was an average game. You know, there's yeah. a lot of plus sides with, plus with that. You know, and obviously Tommy Wells coming in. Um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of plus side with uh, with the Kerry boys. With uh, Dublin be disappointed. And I think that the tactics would be play a huge, huge part of what happens the next day. And, um, Dublin be ready for Kerry's press. Uh, Spe I think speaking about tactics, Kerry more. Yeah, speaking about the tactics, Tig. I want to chat to you about this press because. Um, I know I broke you up for details on it before we played Dublin in the 16th semi and you were, you were very uh, helpful with all the stuff that you, you sent on to me that time. But uh, you, you, you did this in 2015. I'll never forget it. I was at the game above in Crow Park, the Aussie rules. And it was, uh, to, to, to our eyes, looking at it, where all these Aussies were up inside the 65, you obviously knew the danger of, of Ireland getting, getting the restarts back. What are the areas that both teams can kind of improve on the press? Because both teams are doing it now. Is there? Did you see deficiencies in it, or did you s see uh, huge positives for both teams? And what would you like to see worked on for the replay? Yeah, start, you're right. In, in layman's terms, basically, if you turn the ball over in, in your front half, you're probably going to score because the scoring opportunity from a kickoff. Um, where the game, getting football at the minute is, well, you'll turn it over in your back half. But at that point, you got to you got to score through 15 players. Whereas a lot of 
AFL at the moment and, and it's slowly coming into the GA is press the kick out and press it and, and turn the ball over in your front half and if you turn it over in your front half it gives you more opportunities to score which Kerry done in, in three or four of those kick outs against yeah. Cluxton but they didn't capitalise on the opportunities you know they got the penalty and, and uh, again he missed the shot you know yeah. they had the opportunity to actually reward themselves from those press and turn out and then what happened obviously they got through and Dublin scored their goal um, I'd love to see uh, you know O'Brien go to McCaffrey and give him something to think about on that that side of it, but the press itself, it's a huge component of what happens to AFL football, and, and at the bigger ground with more players, when you think about it with less players on a smaller ground, you'd think you'd be able to press the ground more. Um, we did it in, in 15 with the Australian team, you know, and I was assistant coach with the Australian team, and I thought I was going to be disowned forever by my, by my mother and my family, but <laughs> um, I'm able to get through border and security, I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> and, and it was more about we use the goalkeeper and everything. Our goalkeeper yeah. was about 30 yards out from goal and basically played as an extra defender and yeah. left uh, you know, two forwards inside the 21-yard line. And he's probably a defender in a way because you know, your goalies were never too great as yeah. tall as spade as spade. Um, t- come here to me, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Walsh. You had, him, you had him down in Sydney. Uh, how happy are you for him to see him you know, reignite his career at, at 30 years of age mm. when he was gone for four years and it was tough and he came back from a professional setting. It was all expected that this guy was just going to come in and, and be, you know, huge for Kerry going forward. It didn't work for him. He's gone away. He obviously had a horrific injury. But how great is it to see him back out there? And if Kerry started him, how influential could he be? Both on Kerry's press being, you know, you wouldn't have Brian Howard catching it over Gavin White if you had Tommy Walsh out there. And also, mm. if Dublin put on their press he'd be a good option to come out and break that up. Yeah, yeah you're spot on, Starry. Like, on a personal note, I'm delighted with Tommy. So, uh, people got to understand the injury you had. It's as bad as an injury you'll ever have. It's, it's, it's the new age ACL or, or cruciate ligament injury of, of sport now. It's to tear your hamstring off the bone. It's a, it's a skiing injury where people land and actually tear it off the bone. And, and basically, Tommy had to learn, learn to, to walk and run. And, and, and a man that's that big, it's obviously going to take time. And, um, the biggest compliment you can give Tommy is the fact that you know when he came back into the carry, he was that selfless and said, "Look, I'm distracting the team too much. I'm going to step away from the squad uh, and, and step away from carry football for a year, not knowing that he's ever going to get the chance again." And then, obviously, with the retirements of yourself and some older players, um, Peter Keane, you know, had the courage to go, "Look, we've got Tommy Welch here in our backyard. He's got a lot of experience. He's still, got, he's still a young man at 30 years of age. I'm going to bring him in." And uh, Everything he's touched has been gold. Uh, I, I'm with you. Start, I, I'd start him. I'd start him just to give him something to think about. You know, what's what's McCarthy going to do? What, who's going to play on him? Um, you're starting to play the game in your terms, where the opposition are thinking about us. Oh, you know, who, who's going to play on? What are we going to do? And you look at that press as you're talking about the kickouts. You know, himself and Barry and um, Spillane and, and uh, Davy, Davy Warren. Like that, that's a, that's a formidable four sitting in, in that part of the ground where you can't kick it out long. So you actually have to try and force the kick out itself, and, and that's probably where you're going to get more turnovers. Um, I'd start them, and if he doesn't last, I, I think Tommy would last no problem. As you know, star full forward can't run that much. You know, they're, all, they're all bluff, really. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I made that point that you know I played eight minutes against Mayo in in, in fourteen, having not played all year, and, and played ninety eight the following week in the replay. So Tommy's yeah, in, right. Tommy's in better shape than me, and he and he would be. I I don't see. You know, even doing a Canavan with him, Tyee, maybe starting him. You know, yeah. tr- tr- you know, tr- t- starting him as you said, put Kerry's best foot forward. Go at it. You could take him off ten minutes into the second half for Killian Spillane, and if you needed that big ball or you needed a bit of, you know, that 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 in around the house late on, he'd be a perfect guy to throw back on. Kerry used two of their subs in 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 garbage time the last day, in in, in like literally a minute or two to go. So mm. it's not like we've seven or eight, you know, guys that that you know that they're looking to to throw on there. I think if you're going to wait that long to use your subs. You know, that could be a tactic that could be huge for Kerry. It'd be ballsy by Peter Keane, but fortune favours the Braves, as we found out with, with, with Mickey Hart when he did it with Peter in 2005. I think you're spot on, Star, because straight away it's got Dublin on the back foot going, well, what do we do here? You know, they've got their own decisions what they're going to do with Connolly as far as, well, well you know, bringing him on. And would you, would you start Connolly? You know, do we, I probably would. I probably would because he's going to give something straight away to think to the Kerry backs. You know, if I was thinking again about I mean, the coaching game now here, and, and one of the first things you do when it comes to selection is what are the opposition team, coaching team, going to think about a player starting somewhere? Um, and you want them thinking straight away about, oh, oh no, how do we handle this and what do you do? And you, straight away in the game, you're putting them off guard. 
because they're going straight away, well, oh no, who's going to play on Jim McConnelly? All right, okay, well, we've got Morley on Mannion, who's done a great job in him, okay, who's going to play on Connolly? And you're all the straight away, the, the opposition coaching team or the management are, are moving or trying to fix things straight away, and you're putting them off guard, uh, like Tommy Welch would do to, to, to Dublin. So, uh, And that's where the tactics and the mind games come in from a, from a, a management point of view, you know, and, and how you actually handle the occasion and what's happening from a real breakdown, a tactical point of view, and how you get the advantage. Call it Tyge, who you who, who do you think will, will come out top if you if you're speaking with your heart I probably know your answer, but speak with your coach's hat on and, and, and where you think this is going. The three replays has been an all Ireland final, the man of the match has been someone that hasn't started the game before. I'm gonna to say Tommy's gonna to be man of the match. I'm sure you're gonna win by three points. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt you arse. Good man, thanks. Uh enjoy your weekend. I know you're on I know you're on a bit of a sesh with the boys, so uh Enjoy your crack down there. I uh, no better man to do it. All right, sorry, boy. Good to hear from you. Thanks, Ty. Thanks.